Yeah, I'm getting into a very heated topic. I think I finally wrapped my head around why I think magic will die. Now, follow, listen to me. So I was talking about Ruxin and cronyism, and I finally wrapped my head around it because then I was talking about the NPL. Like, why, why did I hate the NPL so much? It's because cronyism that you had whoever was selecting these. So the NPL was 32 you no know, regular people, and then I think 34. It was like some weird number of uh, special invites. Now the question is, how did you get a special invite? Did you get Planeswalker points? Nope. Did you have to be the best player like Austin? Nope. He never got an invite to the Mythic Championship. So to get to the number one and the only tournament that, you know, for a million dollar prize pool every time, you either had to be the 32 people or have a special invite. If you look in the history of the special invite, they invite a lot of female cosplayers. And these female cosplayers, they often get invited multiple times. Uh, even though the champion, so I think Mythic Championship number two was won by a special invite. He was not invited even back to defend his, you know, championship. That That's absurd, right? <laughs> you know, hey, this guy won the championship. He definitely should be invited back. So that would be one case where I think the person must be invited back to defend, you know, the championship, right? To beat the best, you got to beat whoever won last championship. Uh, and then you look at, you know, the cosplayers like Ellie of the Veil vale and so on. She got invited at least twice that I know of, possibly every time. It would not, it would not surprise me if she got invited multiple. And one time she got invited, she had to start a GoFundMe because the prize pool, the minimal prize pool payout, I think it was 2500 And she couldn't afford a plane ticket or something or a bus ticket or whatever it was. And it was like very strange. Um, and then they invited a guy who had an ELO, which is really, really low, of 1300 And it turned out he actually worked for Wizards on the Employee in the Dungeons and Dragons thing. So my point was, if half the competitors at your number one, your only Mythic Champ, your only big event, you know, every quarter year, I think it's every uh, half year, every new set, is people that you chose based on how much you like them, and their political views, then that is cronyism, right? You're favoring people and you're inviting people. I know Ali got invited at least twice. So she got was a repeat person, even though these are special invites, which you didn't even invite the champion. You didn't invite the guy who won the ch previous championship twice. You didn't even invite him back to defend his championship, but you would invite a cosplayer twice. It doesn't make any sense. And this is why I really hated the NPL. It was the definition of Bias. It was a definition of unfairness. It was a definition of just corrupt. You know, this is corrupt beyond. And I'm a lawyer. Um, there is at least in every lawyer, I believe, there is at least a spark of us that want to do what is ethical. This is absolutely not. The NPL was not ethical. One of my happiest days in Magic was an NPL disintegrated into dust. And nobody even cared. Autumn doesn't even have a Twitch account, even though they paid hundred million dollars for them to promote themselves on Twitch. Uh, now, and it's got zero subscribers. I get more 